Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boiling Action. Hey, it's Chris. So, uh, you know, um, I haven't made a video for a longer time, but uh, now I want to start making new videos again. And for this first episode of my new videos, so I've got a vlog video. Actually, a friend of mine from the Netherlands called Dan, uh, he's got a YouTube channel uh, called Dan Megacam. Uh, you can see it in the subscription as well. Um, wants to visit me here in Germany and uh, we're gonna eat some typical German dishes here some authentic German uh, street food and go and watch the new Star Wars movie and probably we play some violin together because some of you that follow me on Twitter already might know that uh, I started to uh, play violin since uh, May of the last year uh, May 2017, yes. And yeah, he also plays violin, and uh, we see how it goes, uh, how how it how it will turn out. But uh, now I have to say, ooh, I'm in a I'm in a rush, I'm in a hurry, because uh, his train is actually going to arrive very soon, and I'm still here in my apartment, and yeah. So that's it, yeah. I'm hobby chef and musician Chris, and this is Boiling Action! Dan is going to be waiting at the fast food restaurant, we will see. <laughs> Whoa. Such a great... There he is, but a little out of focus. Welcome to Germany. Thank you. <laughs> But as pleasant as ever. I oh. say, we're going to discuss all these sort of subjects a lot more these coming two days. We will. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so, uh, such a bad cameraman at the moment, so the, the image was all wobbly and so... But hey, we'll see what happens next. Yes. Yeah, finally, you made it. You I did. You're here in Germany. Right. Yeah, I already was in Germany, of course, but I wasn't in <laughs> Dortmund yet. Yeah, because well, uh, yes. Yeah, there were some issues with the train, right? <laughs> yes, bloody German train system. We had to wait on uh, at a rail for a whole hour or something for another train to arrive. I'm not sure whether I can take the right one. They all kind of looked like each other, but finally got it. And I couldn't reach you because there was no Wi-Fi on this particular train. Uh, neither could I even make use of the Wi-Fi uh, via my uh, phone subscription, so I couldn't can contact you at all, which was a bit of a bummer. Okay, we're here. Yeah. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to walk around a bit. We have, we've seen uh, the new Star Wars for me a second time already, just when I arrived, just for fun, and we've, quite, uh, we've enjoyed it quite well. Of course, we have our uh, criticisms, as everybody does in this incredibly controversial and divisive film. And, uh, and still, it's enjoyable, it's uh, amusing. You've played it before, so you've seen it before, so uh, I've got a new violin, actually it's an electric like home violin. <laughs> yeah. So it's an electric violin and um, I guess in this video you will see how we play something uh, uh, together with it, but uh, I gotta say actually, as I was uh, saying in the intro of this video, I was thinking that Dennis uh, wants to get his violin with him, but uh, you had some issues with your with my case. Yes. With your case. And since it's uh, quite a family heirloom, a 100 year old violin, all the way from Indonesia, I was thinking like um, probably be best to be careful with this instead of uh, coming in like in a broken case or something like that. It's not, not such a crappy one as I have here. <laughs> Um, so, um, yeah, we already uh, played some footage. I think this was okay. <laughs> yes. I mean, it was it was naturally. It was not practiced. No. As many YouTubers, it was spontaneously. It was real. What we're going to do now is just walk around and see what we can uh, look at and gaze at, and uh, especially for me to wonder at this this new strange town. Don't forget to check the the version on 
Dan Me Megacam. Is it called Mega or Megacam? Dan Megacam. Megacam. Dan Megacam as well. You can find the link in the subscription below. And now I would say that we're gonna walk through the city and uh, eat something yes. authentic. And don't forget to check out his channel as well, where he has the absolutely rare combination of food and rock. And, and, and rock. And everybody loves food and everybody should love rock. So go check it out. So then, yeah. there's the Dortmund U Tower over there. What did you say? What the sort of museum or something, wasn't it? Actually, uh, it's a Victorian building and it was a brewery and now yeah. there is a brewery museum in there. It doesn't look particularly Victorian, but... Oh, it doesn't look industrial, right? Industrial, yeah. Okay, maybe a couple of years later it uh, had been built it then. Yeah. Go! We're going to see if we can get something to uh, consume or eat over there. Yeah. We've got some things over, like cultural differences. We will. Everybody likes that. So, what are we going to eat today? Authentic, real authentic German currywurst. Excellent. I love yeah. it. It's hot as hell. As hot as hell, please. Yeah. I've stuffed 8,000. <laughs> the Scoville units down my throat before, so I'm going to try it. Yeah. Because I am, as they call it here, a Scoville Frankie. Yeah. So I really like the Like the uh, habanero chili peppers or the... Yeah, or the Carolina Reaper. Something like that. Right? Yeah. What's here? No one with it? Pepper spray, which is around 16 million units or something. Yeah. Well. See, and now it comes some hot curry sauce. It's like with uh, ketchup and sometimes fruit, but mostly uh, it's a secret. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Danke schön. And, uh, this is one portion, and this is the other. Yeah. Thank you very much. Dankeschön und vielen Dank, dass wir filmen durften. Definitely. Okay, yep. now we're gonna try it. Tasting time! I got the red one because it's hot. Yeah. Because I'm the devil. Absolutely. <laughs> now I'm definitely comfortable. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I get the camera right? It looks like a golden. <laughs> it isn't hot. It isn't hot? It's not, not hot. Well, I can, I can taste a bit of hotness, but it's not terribly hot. And what else do you taste? Mm. A bit of sweetness, probably? It's nice, full meat. It's like, um, it's a bit sweet, yes. Yeah. Definitely is a bit of good meat. I'm gonna give it a try. It's, it's, it's a sort of taste that does not rely solely. Uh, really hard to eat while the wind is blowing. I like how the sausage. The, I like how the um, this is my experience with German meat and German sausage, for example, is that the flavour and the taste does not solely rely upon salt or fat. Uh -huh. it's, it's it's got a real meaty taste. To it. Like it's been processed properly, unlike in the Netherlands where it's like kind of. It tastes like either too much salt or it tastes like doormats or uh, cardboard. Mm -hmm. I see. And also, along with that, we got a real German roll. Yes. It's called the Brötchen. Uh, Crispy. It's that uh, if you compare it with the American buns then. Yeah, they're really. Uh, those buns they, they have are like. Was it? Like little pillows. Mm -hmm. so they're really soft and doughy. Like the donuts. Actually, Dutch invention, aren't they? actually, it's meant to be to get tiered into two parts, like this here. 
on, you can dip it in the remaining sauce. Okay. So I have been told by the expertly educated, uh, culturally ex uh, educated boiling action that the second thing you need to do after you've finished your curry sauce is to uh, dip your remaining bread into the remaining sauce. And it's going to have some spicy bread like that. Mm -hmm. yes. Bloody bread. Is it something that you want to eat again when you visit Germany again? Please. Totally. He's going to make an uh, original, authentic döner for us. And here you can see all the different vegetables, the three sauces. And now he put uh, a pita into the toaster oven yeah. and yeah. there are two kinds of meat that you can choose from. Yeah. It's uh, The one is chicken, this one yeah. is chicken yeah. here, and that one is calf. Yeah. And now you can see oh, how so he's good. cutting the meat. Yeah. In this case. Um, do you, which, which meat do you like? Uh, chicken. 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 All uh, spicy. 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 And now he's adding the, the chicken meat. And all the, all the vegetables and, and yogurt sauce. Um, mm, I would, Onions? Yeah. Onions. Salad. Tomatoes. Cucumbers. A little bit of spice over there. Yes, no, I mean that. Uh, okay, thank you very much. So now we are sitting here in the Döner restaurant. And Dan is going to try his first authentic German slash Turkish Döner. I have tried one in Italy. Yeah? They're pretty good. But actually we have to say those döners are invented in Germany from uh, Turkish immigrants. It's a Turkish, German Turkish invention. And you said you uh, had the one without any uh, yogurt sauce. Yeah. 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 It sounds like kind of a Greek thing. Right, I'm going to dig in. All right. How do you eat it? It's like a clam, like a yeah. clam. Yeah, you press it a little bit together. You hold it with both hands. And take a huge bite. Yeah. He's gonna press it together a bit to make yeah. it more compact. So, and the the pita bread is crispy toasted, huh? Yeah, you can hear that bite. Come on. I gotta say the first bite uh, differs a little bit from the last one, yeah. according to each other, because uh, down below you got uh, most of the meat and the salad is on top. Yeah. yeah, what's your what's your impression on it? It's definitely a bit different. Like the meat is crispier. The meat is crispier. Yeah. I've only mostly eaten the meat that's soft, just warmed up a bit. Mm -hmm. It seems to have been almost sort of grilled, which I like. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, the way you're going to do that is get your doner, wrap it a little bit. Show us the traditional way of eating it. Hold it like that way. Yeah. Uh, press a little bit from the side, so this, that's my trick, so that the filling is not gonna squeeze out at the sides. Yeah? No. Uh -huh. So then, take a huge bite into it. Ah, that huge. Mm. <laughs> I heard like, 
for example, what they would well, some, some advice they always give when eating hamburgers is like you actually turn the thing upside down so it's more uh, resilient against, against your bite so that the contents won't just like splurt out of the sides. And I think these, these buns have been designed in such a way that they're also like flatter, larger, have a larger surface. Mm -hmm. So to um, like, like prevent any dirty uh, Yeah, it soaks situation. up the moistness. Yes, that's true. So you need, uh, your hands are uh, relatively clear afterwards yeah, when true. you finish it. And um, I also got to say, those buns here, those pita buns are especially made for for a dinner kebab, but uh, there are also some huge round breads, mm -hmm. yeah, like this size, and they make quarters out of them. And one quarter makes one dinner. Okay. I think this is cheaper than in the Netherlands too. Because there would be like five euros maybe? maybe? So oh. you got it in the Netherlands as well? No, not exactly this one. Not exactly. Like, like other buns. Mm -hmm. Other buns. It's also uh, uh, described as uh, kebab. Kebab, yes. Kebab, yeah. You're welcome. Bye.